is real. Well, this 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 is so we back in it with more Monique on Club Shay Shay. So also what I found interesting is her story on Kevin Hart. So we're no stranger to the history of Monique and Tyler Perry. Um, but she did have some help. Um, she was saying Elle Shopton uh, reached out to help her. She had talked to people like Stephanie Mills. And Kevin Hart was one of the people that she actually um, was talking to about setting down, like getting him and uh, Oprah. Oprah, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Tiffany Haddish and I mean what? What are you I'm saying, saying Jeff? Use Listen, your fingernail. You, you shut up. Use your no. fingernail. Uh, Kevin Hart was trying to get Tyler Perry and Monique to sit down together, but Tyler Perry told Kevin Hart, "Look, I, I want to move past that. I don't even want nothing to do with it no more." So that's what Kevin Hart, you know, called her back and said to her, and she said, "Okay." Kevin Hart did say, listen, I will help you, though. Whatever you need to do to get past this, any production, it's fine. I, I'll i make it happen for you, Mo. Wanting to help her. Mm -hmm. So she she went on ahead with that. She told her husband, okay, listen, Kevin Hart's going to help us. A couple weeks later, we have the audio. She explained that Kevin Hart's manager called her, said this. We get a call from Endemol. Endemol says, we just got a call from Kevin Hart's manager, Dave Becky. And Dave Becky said, Kevin doesn't want anything to do with Monique. You know, he doesn't want any, any kind of relationship with Monique. I called Kevin Hart immediately. I said, hey, baby, we just got off the phone with Endemol, and they said Dave Becky called them up and said, you don't want anything to do with me. He said, Mo, that's, that's a miscommunication. I can tell you right now. I said, wait a minute. Are you okay, though, with this white man calling them up? Getting in between our relationship and something you said, he said, Mo, I'm, that's a miscommunication and we're going to talk Tuesday. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's a miscommunication. That was two years ago. If you talk to him, I talk to him. I've never talked back to Kevin Hart again. Huh. That is that is very, very interesting. She was very adamant about that story. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, oh, ain't nobody got nothing to say? I don't know what's true and what's not true. Oh, I know everybody okay. got a story, but they telling their stories on Club Shay Shay. Drop on the clues bombs for Club Shay Shay. I know that's right. You better go ahead and stick next to your friends. <laughs> I know that's Club right. Club Shay Shay out here smoking. I love it. I love Club it. Club Shay Shay um, out here smoking. Yeah, because I, I was getting wrapped up at the first one, but I bought it right back. All right, so we're going <laughs> to move on to what she had some interesting things to say about Tiffany Haddish because Tiffany Haddish said some things to say about her. Play number three. I remember our beautiful sister Tiffany Haddish. Mm-hmm did an interview with GQ magazine. And I, I'm assuming the journalist was a white person. Mm -hmm. And the conversation turned to Monique. And she said, well, I don't do business like Monique do business. And I'm glad I don't have that husband of hers. And when I saw that, it's like, Tiffany, if you had a husband like mine, you may not have two DUIs. Mm. If you had a husband like mine, you may not be caught up in what looks like you could have been grooming a child. Mm -hmm. And I say all of that with no judgment. But when you speak about having a husband like mine, you open up the door. And I'm saying to you, if you had one like mine, you may not sit in these positions that you can't explain the next day. Right. That's very fair. I mean, if, yeah. if if Tiffany said that about Monique and GQ, Monique has every right to respond. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people were saying that uh, Monique quoted it wrong. She didn't say, I'm glad I don't have a husband like her. She was just saying, I don't have that husband that she has. So, I mean, none is better than the other. It's whether she was glad that she don't. She was just saying, I don't have that husband that she has. So, but but either way, Monique she, has every right to respond. Absolutely, yeah, she does. <laughs> and then Shannon Sharp, he's so funny. He said, "Well, she ain't even married at all, is she?" <laughs> you know, <that's> <laughs> and, and Monique took a sip of that cognac and said, "Well, you said it, I didn't." Shannon don't need to do that though. Shannon, they already coming on your platform, spilling their guts. Yeah, they you are. don't got to add no seasoning he to sure it. Don't. Shannon, you don't got to put no sauce on it. He you don't sure got to spit on it at all. But okay. he puts he puts very little, very very he does. little, very uh, little sauce he, on he, it. He, he don't. He, he don't, don't need to put much. none because you know we uh, all of us in this room know how sensitive people can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that little bit of something they'll yeah. turn into something Shannon Shaw more major. Shannon Shaw don't care. Absolutely. But why why put yourself in that situation if you don't have to? Mm -hmm. A couple times she also made him look in the camera, right? Because <laughs> he was asking questions um, uh, about when she was telling stories about mm -hmm. Tyler Perry and Oprah, and she said, "Look in your ca look in your goddamn camera and ask them yourself." <laughs> tell, and he was like, him. "Well, okay." He said, "Tyler, he said, Tyler Perry? Perry, I would like for you. How won't you come on Club Shay Shay, and then you have a conversation with me, and we'll sit here, we'll try to figure out how we can get Monique 
compensated for and this. And then Monique said, and I'm going to join you. And I'm going to do one better. Me and my husband will sit right next to him and ask him these questions. Y'all out y'all damn mind if y'all think Tyler Perry ever doing something Hell like that. Hell no. <laughs> no. Uh, and these are the things we know, but they still mm-hmm. had the prompt to ask. Yeah. Tyler ain't doing it. My D ain't doing it. That nope. is never happening. Nope. <laughs> Tyler or my D? That's not happening. <laughs> But they ain't the one with the problems. All right. Well, thank you for that, Jess, with the mess. Charlamagne, no problem. Yes. Who are you giving your donkey to? Well, you know, let's let's stay uh, with the with the Monique situation. Uh, I want to give uh, I want to give the breakfast nub. I guess that would be myself mm-hmm. uh, donkey today. This morning. Absolutely. Yeah. You take anybody ask you Baltimore? Yeah. All right. <laughs> he do look a little nubby Don't he look a little nubby He over definitely there? look a little nubby a little Okay little okay nubby. guys And I think now. it's funny That I decided to speak on That she called you a nub And you got the fresh Bald head Mr. Clean It's shiny <laughs> Everything And this is with exactly What you get Lenard Donkey today Haven't started yet Alright okay. okay The breakfast nub Will be back Don't move It's the breakfast club Good morning Wake that ass up Early in the morning The breakfast club